okay, we're gonna start off in a comfortable seated position today. So some traditional yoga poses is Sukhasana here, very similar to crisscross applesauce from grade school, except you have one leg in front of the other, or there is Varasana diamond leg, which you just sit right on the top of your feet. So those are two options, but really anything that feels right in your body today where you can bring alignment to your spine. And when I say alignment in the spine, I'm meaning from the tip of the tailbone all the way up through the crown of the head, a nice straight line as though you're actually becoming taller as the crown of your head reaches towards the sky. From there, you can actually move the fleshy part of the bum right out of the way, and then you can really ground into your sit bone and let that be the foundation that lifts you up all the way to the crown of the head. You can let the shoulders relax down the back body and bring the hands to rest comfortably on the thighs. Begin to take some deep breaths in and out of the nose. When we breathe this way, we're telling our body that it's okay to relax. We're in a safe space, have everything you need to be here. You can trust your very being and really begin to drop into the here and now of our class together. As you continue to take your deep breath in and out of the nose, allow the eyes to either soften, looking at the ground in front of you, or they can all, all the way close. As you're breathing in through the nose, breathe in love and trust knowing that you have everything you need to be here. And as you breathe out through the nose, release any insecurity or fears that you're holding on to in this space. Breathing in love and trust, knowing that everything is as it should be. Breathing back out through the nose, releasing what is no longer serving you. Continuing to sit up nice and tall through the crown of the head, checking in with the muscles of the face to make sure they're nice and soft. And as you sit here, pay attention to where you're starting today. How is it that you're feeling? How has your day gone? How are you? Taking three more deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose, trusting that everything is as it should be. And when you're ready, you can begin to flutter the eyes back open, returning to the space around you. And on an inhale, we're gonna bring the arms out side to side, nice and big, till the palms touch overhead. And then exhale the hands down to heart center, following with the eyes. Inhaling to come up and out, bringing a smile to the face and finding a joy in your practice and exhaling, returning back home to heart center. Two more of these deep breaths where we just begin to match and marry our breath and our movement in the body, moving consciously in this time and space. The next time the hands come to heart center, we're gonna plant the palms firmly on the ground and then inhale the arm up and overhead, coming to a side stretch, feeling the length, breathing into this space here on the side body. Now knowing that a side stretch could be here or here or all the way down here, trusting your body and your journey, finding what's gonna feel right for you in this moment. Another option here is just to bring the hand to the hip and you still get that stretch in, but it builds a little less deep here. 
Next inhale is gonna pull you all the way up through center to the other side. And we'll continue the journey. Other arm up and overhead, coming into that side stretch, really making sure to open that heart up towards the sky. Remembering that smile. Inhale to return us back to center and we're gonna move to a twist coming to bring the hand to the opposite knee. The other hand is gonna swim back behind you like a prop, holding your torso up so that your crown is still lifting towards the sky and then using an exhale to twist and look out over that back shoulder. Breathing deep here, that in-breath of trust and love, and that exhale, releasing that which no longer serves you. Taking two more deep breaths here, knowing that we, when we are in a twist, we're using cross-hemispheric integration. Inhale to come through to center. Exhale to the other side. Cross hemispheric integration is a big word. And what it just means is that the two sides of the brain are talking to each other. And when the two sides of the brain talk to each other, it actually creates new patterns in the brain that make it easier to process and focus. Use your next inhale to return to center and we're gonna come forward onto the hands and knees here. So this is tabletop pose. And in tabletop, we want our knees stacked under our hips. Our hands are gonna be stacked under our shoulders. Now, when we keep these parts of the body in alignment, it actually makes it easier to sustain these poses. So once we are all in alignment, you're gonna pull that belly button up and in. Feel connected to that strength. That's where your core power is. That's what's gonna help you feel sturdy and stable every day of your life. So connect to that fire in the belly. We often call it in the yoga community. We're all yogis now, right? And then find that tip of the tailbone that you were connecting to when we were sitting and we were starting. And then same length all the way out through the crown of the head so that you have a nice flat back. From here, with all of our integrity and alignment, we're going to inhale, drop the belly button down, open the heart up to the sky. And then exhale, we're gonna make a little flow, pulling the belly button up and in and allowing the crown of the head to drop towards the ground. Inhale to open the heart, radiate out into the world. Exhale, returning to home once again. Continuing on your own breath, your own time your own divine wisdom and purpose. Use that next inhale to return to center, coming back to tabletop position with a nice flat back here. And we're gonna build a little heat on that next inhale, lift the right leg, straight out and back. You can either point those toy toes or you can keep that foot nice and flat like it's against the wall. Now option to stay here or inhale, lift that left arm straight ahead of you. You can always try it out and drop that hand back down if you need to. It's about where you are in your journey today and how much heat you wanna create. Taking two more deep breaths here, feeling connected to your strength, your power, and your energy. And on an exhale, we'll float everything back down. Once again, coming to that tabletop pose. It's so important to always come back into alignment with integrity in everything we do on and off the mat. All right, other side. Inhale, lift that left leg out and back. And once again, the invitation, everything here is an invitation, right? You do you, but if you wanna try it out, inhale, lift that right arm up and straight again. Once again, finding that balance, really connecting to that belly power here, feeling everything tighten, deep breath in and out of the nose here. 
and exhale, floating everything back to the ground, bringing the knees to the center of the mat. Here, we're going to curl the toes under and sit back on the toes. Now, if you've never done this before, it can be super intense. And if that's the case, please be kind with yourself. You can always just try it out for as long as that feels right and comfortable for you. And you can come to sit on the top of the feet flat. But wherever you are, however you're going to choose to do this today, inhale, open up at the arms nice and big. And then exhale, give yourself a nice big hug. Really squeeze here. You deserve all of this love that you have. Inhale and open up again, nice and big, bold and beautiful. And then exhale, opposite arm on top this time. Once again, this is that cross hemispheric integration, right? We're crossing the opposite sides of the body over the midline, inviting the brain to do new and fun and exciting things. Everyone can benefit from this. Inhale to open up once again. And then come forward onto the hands and just step the tops of the feet. It's a big stretch. All right, returning to that tabletop pose here. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Inhale to lift that right leg out and back one more time. And then exhale, we're going to pull it all the way up and through, planting the foot firmly between the two hands here. The knee is going to stay stacked over the ankle. And on an inhale, we have two options here. You could bring the hands to the knee. This is option one. Or you can inhale those arms up and overhead here. Now, this is a bit of a balancing act here. So you're going to really need that core strength and energy like you were talking about before. Lifting tall. Hips are squared to the front of the mat. Now, when I say the hips are squared, I mean like if there's two flashlights on your hip bone, maybe going straight ahead to the front of your mat. That keeps everything, once again, in alignment with integrity. Staying connected to that breath. Nice bend in the back if that's available to you. It's a nice little, little something to add in there. And then exhale, dive all the way back down to the ground, framing that front foot once again, bringing that right knee back. And then inhaling the left out and back once again. Exhale to pull it all the way up and through. Same thing, other side. Inhale, option one. Hands to the knees, hips square to the front of the mat or... Smiling, lifting those hands up to the sky, nice and big. Breathing deep, keeping that connection to the loving breath in through the nose. And using that exhale as a tool to release what is no longer serving you. Big, deep breath in, exhale, float those hands all the way back down to the ground bringing that left knee back to meet the right, and then sitting back on the heels, coming into child's pose. So a few variations for child's pose. You can come like I am with the knees all the way together where the arms are either extended straight out or you can wrap them around the back of the body like you're a little, I like to think of myself as a little pumpkin seed. Or... You can bring the knees to be the width of the mat. Toes are touching behind and then melting that heart forward. No matter where you are, make sure that your forehead is making contact with the mat. And if it's not, this is an awesome place to use a yoga block or a book, a pillow, a folded blanket, anything just so that that forehead has the support it needs to fully surrender into the posture. Use that next inhale to slide the hands back up under the shoulders, pressing yourself up to a seated position. We're going to bring the knees to touch if they're not already. And we're going to sit up nice and tall. 
So that same lift all the way up through the crown of the head. Shoulders relax and down the back body. And on an inhale, float the hands up to shoulder height in front of you. And on an exhale, rotate the palms out and bring the hands all the way behind the back body. Interlacing the fingers here to clasp. If you can't quite make it that far, this is a really great place for a yoga strap or even a towel or for a long time I used a robe tie. <laughs> like seriously, did yoga for 12 years before I finally bought a yoga strap. Um, but just something to hold onto in the hands behind the body. But interlacing those fingers, if you're able to, it's always worth trying. And then pulling back and opening the heart up towards the sky, gazing upwards, smiling, taking a deep breath in through the nose. And on an exhale, melting the torso over the thighs until once again, the forehead comes to the mat. Also a great place for a block, pillow, blanket, whatever. Just finding that contact and lifting the arms up and behind the back body. Your arms could be here, 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 or maybe like straight up at the sky. But wherever you are in your journey today, celebrate it. It is yours and only yours. Two more deep breaths in through the nose. And then an inhale to fire up that belly, connecting to the core and with intention, hinging back up from the hips, opening that heart up once again to the sky, and then releasing those hands and letting them float forward back onto the left. From here, coming onto the sides of the hips so that you can pivot the feet in front of you. And we're gonna bring the soles of the feet to touch. This is known as cobbler's pose or butterfly pose. And so we're gonna inhale, lift the knees up towards the sky, and exhale, melt them down towards the mat. Just doing this a few times to warm up the muscles, kind of slide into the posture. One of my favorite yoga teachers used to call it a drive-by. You know, like when you drove by the party to see whether or not you wanted to go, see how many people were there. And on this next exhale, just settle into this pose here. The closer it is to your pelvis, the, the easier the posture is. So finding a spot that is good for you. If it should feel like yummy and delightful. If it doesn't feel good, then just change the position. Deep breath in through the nose and then exhale, dive forward. Settling in here for four deep, restorative and loving breaths. Use that next inhale to fire up the belly, connect to the core, and hinging up from the hips with a nice flat back. Wonderful. From here, we'll extend the both legs straight out, sitting nice and tall. We're going to inhale the hands together in front of us. Extend those pointer fingers out. This is called people grip. And from here, slowly melt yourself down. It takes a lot of that core strength that we talked about before. Once you've made it all the way down to the earth, we're gonna inhale, hug those knees into the chest. Mm. Rocking gently side to side. So the nice little low back massage here. And for the interest of self-love, I'll invite you to give both of your knees a little kiss. And if you can't reach your kiss, if you can't reach your kiss, if you can't reach your knees, then you can blow them a kiss. Mm. 
And then when it feels ready and right for you, you can let those knees come all the way to the ground on one side of the body. The arms will come straight out at shoulder height on either side of you. And then on an exhale, turn the head to look the opposite direction of the knees. Supine twist. Twists are known for their ability to help you release that which no longer serves you. So return to that idea. Is there anything else you're willing to surrender to this space? Anything else that isn't helping you in your journey of self-discovery, self-improvement? Inhale, we're gonna lift the gaze and the knees back up to center. And exhale down to the other side. Breathing deep here, option to soften or close the eyes and really feel the support of the earth beneath you. Shoulders rooting down and connected to the earth. Knowing that you've done a wonderful job on your journey today. Not that you need me to validate you, but I'm proud of you for being here today. Inhaling to return to center here and exhale, extend one leg out and then the other, preparing for Shavasana here. Hands are come to rotate up towards the sky. Legs and feet can just fall comfortably out where they will. If you're feeling any um, discomfort in the low back, you can bend the knees, bringing the feet to be the width of the mat and allow the knees to fall in towards each other. This makes the low back flush with the earth just and it can just feel better. So check that out. It might be your gym. Be this is a time for you to be as comfortable as possible because the more relaxed you are in a physical body at this point, the more you're going to be able to integrate your process and your practice into your body for long-term positive effects, which is the goal. Just fully surrendering and releasing, feeling the support of Mother Earth in you, trusting and knowing that you have nothing else to do in this time but to be here now. Any thoughts? Pop into your head. You can thank them and tell them that you will address them later. They are important and have a time and place, but it is not now. This time is just for you. Keeping connected to that breath in and out of the nose, surrendering to your Shavasana. begin to wiggle the fingers and toes. An option here just to roll on to the right side. Use that right arm as a pillow for the head. Pressing into the earth with the left hand. Taking just a few more moments to be here in a restorative place.
when you're ready and everything feels just delightful, you can gently press yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. Any last wiggles you need to get out? This is the time, my friend. All right, inhaling the hands up to heart center, knowing that my wish for you on this day and every day that follows is peace of body, peace of heart, and peace of mind. Namaste.